If you haven't noticed, we do a little bit of motion graphics here on this YouTube channel, but you know what we don't do a lot of? That's 3D motion graphics. So in this video, I want to put together a tutorial on creating isometric motion graphics right here for After Effects to help you produce work that is unique and can really stand out in three dimensions. So hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope you're having an awesome day. If you're not following me on my Instagram, Sunduck Film, be sure to do so because we're posting one minute tutorials three times a week. I'll drop that link below. So you know what we're creating in this video, we're going to jump in the tutorial, create some awesome 3D motion graphics, and we're going to get started. And as always, if you want to follow along with our tutorial, you can download our project files for free. It's linked below. So here we are in tutorial composition. There's a couple ways to create isometric animation. I'm going to show you every way to do it because it just looks awesome. So first things first, let's do some motion graphics. We'll come here and grab say, the ellipse tool here at the top. Uh, make sure the fill is off and the stroke is turned to solid color. Click OK. And I'm going to draw out a perfect circle like so. And I'm going to come here to add and just add a quick trim path to this and we'll open this up. We'll set the end percent to zero, add a keyframe for end and we'll move forward by a second and you know, set that to 100%. Go back a little bit and add a keyframe for start. Move forward past our first keyframe and set that up to 100%. So what's going to happen here is we're going to have a circle just animating in like that, you know, whatever you want it to be. All right. And we have a nice little circle animation here. Now let's take this and turn it into an isometric effect or a 3D effect. So there's a couple ways to do it. So we're using a shape layer here. So what we can do is come here to add and we'll just add a repeater to this. Okay. So we have our animation here, open repeater one and we'll come here to transform repeater one and we'll come here to the X position and we can set this to say negative one and we can come here to the Y position and set that up to negative one as well. Now what you're going to want to do is increase the number of copies to go across like this. All right. Awesome. So what we want to do here to help be set up a little bit better, we'll take our ellipse one and we'll duplicate it. And now we have two ellipses here. And what we're going to do is take repeater one and put it into the ellipse one here. Okay. And we'll come here to ellipse two and we'll go to the show color and we can change our show color to be something a little bit brighter or something. You know, that looks fine. We can go to the second stroke color and make that darker. So this way you're going to get a three dimensional look around your 3D object. So we go do a round preview. It's really quick. That's why I like doing the repeater technique. So that's one way you can create 3D motion graphics here in After Effects. All right, and you can take this one shape and you can duplicate it around your composition offset in time and you're gonna get a really unique look here. Now, of course, this technique applies to all the different shapes out there. That's why you have a handful of different shape animations here. You can create some unique looks as well. So it's really cool to have that 3D look, but another way to create 3D animation without out having to you turn it into a 3d layer or using the repeater effect that we just did for shape layers what about a title well it's actually kind of easy to do so what you do is go to effect perspective and you grab a drop shadow and what i'll do is come here and set the opacity to 100 percent and i'll come here to the distance and set this to two we come here and change the color to whatever color we want you're not going to be able to notice it at first but what i suggest doing is also go to effect uh go to expression controls and find a color control and bring this to the top. And what I'll do is come here to shadow color, alt, click the stopwatch for shadow color. And I'm going to parent this to the color control color like that. This way I can change my color very easily. And all I'm going to do is take my drop shadow here and go to edit, duplicate. And I'm going to duplicate this about, you know, 17, 18 times. And now you're going to have a 3D look here and you can change the color with just one click of a button here at the top. So now we can take our normal title layer here and animate it any way we want. If you want, you come here and go to the animate tab and just do like a scale and you can add like a rotation as well. And you can just offset the rotation by a little bit and bring down the scale to zero to, uh, percent. Open up range selector one and you'll add a keyframe for start and you move forward in time and set that up to 100%. And now you'll have a 3D isometric title in here and you know, it looks pretty cool. A lot to work with. And of course, because we have no sponsors here on this YouTube channel, I want to give a huge shout out to our 1400 plus motion graphics professionals pack right here for After Effects. So this is our 1400 motion graphics professional pack right here for After Effects. And how this works, we have 1400 templates in here and you can preview every single template before you apply what you're looking for. So we have a, almost 200 titles in here. And when you find the title that you want, you click on apply and you go into that composition and easily change out your title. And you'll have a full title animation right here for After Effects that you can use as a template and to use it in your own work. We have a handful of other elements in here like motion graphic shapes, you know, animated backgrounds, promos, which are awesome um, that you can apply into any project that you're working on. But we can apply, say, an animated background to this to help it stand out even more. So I'll apply something from the high tech category and I'll go ahead and click on apply. And now we have a full After Effects composition here just by using two templates out of our entire pack of 1400 elements. And we can easily switch over to other packs in our library of templates 
by very easily clicking over to them. So if you're hoping to save a tremendous amount of time while producing awesome work right here for After Effects, you can take a look at any of the packs we have off our website. I will link them below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. All right, so we have a shape layer line right here. And I'm gonna show you, you can also use the drop shadow effect instead of using the repeater effect on a shape layer as well. So I'll just come here and copy the color control and the drop shadow, the shadow that we just created, all those copy them. I'll come to our shape layer and I'll paste that right in there. And boom, there is the drop shadow. Now, one thing you probably wanna do is change the direction of all the drop shadows. And you could have done that before you apply that. So you might want to think about that, um, but you can easily go and change your color, you know, to whatever color you want this to be. And for the shape layer, just come here to the top and you can change the color, uh, you know, to a color that's gonna stand out. So now you'll have this three dimensional line that will animate in here from an isometric standpoint. And of course you can take that and duplicate it around your composition. So you can have both of those techniques available to you to create 3D graphics and titles very easily here in After Effects. So you also have the ability to turn titles and layers into 3D objects right here in After Effects for a third way. However, I don't love using this method of 3D because it's really slow. At least on my end it's slow, but you can use it, but you're gonna have to duplicate the object and change the front color. So there's a reason why I don't do that. So the repeater and the drop shadows are still my way to go for creating 3D things right here for After Effects. But it's really up to you. I mean, you can make that work, but just for an isometric look, that's what I go for. Boom, another motion graphics tutorial done, number 500 or 600. I don't know, I lost count after a few of these. But I hope you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, and are able to apply these techniques. If you're new to our YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below. And always be creative.